My name is David Wolfsrobe. I'm a Native American flute performer and an educator on the history of the Native American flute. I was taught in 1984 by a fourth generation Blackfeet flute maker in the art of making the Plains flute. I studied with my elder for over five and a half years. Most people, they hear these instruments, but yet know nothing about them, where they came from, how they were used. These are the flutes that I was taught to make. Today we call these the grandfather flutes. All Native American flutes are in a minor scale. This is also a minor scale. It's a natural minor scale. The tones of the grandfather flute are tones common in nature. In this case, the Great Plains. The oldest account of the grandfather flutes comes in the mid-1500s by a group of French trapper traders coming down from present-day Canada into the Dakotas. If you go up into the Great Plains, and you talk to a traditional that knows the history of these, they will tell you that they were there in their origin stories. So if you can figure out when their origin was, these have always been around. At one time, these were definitely recognized for one main usage. And the height of that usage was roughly late 15, early 1600s. And it was a very, very simple tool for a young man. It was a courtship instrument. It was one way for a young man to court a young lady. If you study the Great Plains nations, there are many, many, many different courting traditions. This is just one amongst many. If a young man did court in this fashion, the majority of the stories are that he probably would not have went on to become a warrior. Most likely what he would have become would have been one of our medicine people, a shield maker, a horse keeper, and the list goes on and on and on. Something non-war. Simply because, even back then, not everybody wanted to go to war. <laughs>